Okay, wait for it. A couple of people watching Cinderella cartoon. And this is the scene in my house just about every weekend. <laughs> and guess what? It's Father's Day weekend. I hope to make out very big. Those kids, two girls, my wife and I, Judith, we have Annalise, who is three, and Madeline, who is one. Why do I bring them up? Well, quite frankly, I never thought too much about education once I was done with school, okay? It was a bad memory. I wanted to leave it behind. And uh, education, that was some other issue, kind of boring. It's ground zero. It is so important. And they're trying to corrupt my kids and yours. We all know it. It's happening. And Joe Biden, the way he makes noise about children and how he's going along with this woke nonsense, it's scary. These are our kids. These are our neighbors. It's cruel and it's callous. Not somebody else's kids, they're all our kids. Yeah, that's actually the scary part. It sounds almost like something from a communist country. Those kids are in families, okay, families. And their parents call the shots. We knew how to go to school in this country for centuries. It was pretty straightforward. When I went through school, I mean, there was the teacher, blackboard. You know, we learned the basics. We learned American history. Yeah, we knew about slavery. We didn't get too hung up on it. It was, well, school. What does school look like now? It's a nightmare. It is a literal nightmare. <sighs> Pride parades, mandatory. Uh, pride movies, mandatory, even in math class. Here comes the lesbian kiss. Why are you showing this to kids? In math class. We have this nonsense, and then we are still living with the ramifications of two years of essentially no school, empty classrooms. Total crisis situation. And what are they teaching? Our founding fathers? Racists. No, not men divinely inspired, and we were so lucky to have them where they were, when they were. Horrible racists. And that constitution of ours? Thoroughly racist. Critical race theory, that's what it's all about. And the National Archives actually puts a warning. There is a warning for our historic documents at the National Archives. Statement on potentially harmful language. It could be triggering. NARA's records span the history of the United States. Okay, some of the materials presented here may reflect outdated, biased, offensive, and possibly violent views and opinions. All right, they're not just talking about pictures of uh, whatever. They're talking about the Constitution of the United States. Critical race theorists believe that all of this stuff is inherently racist. It is crazy, and now it's mandatory. And parents, families, you don't have a choice, according to Democrats. Terry McAuliffe, he may have lost that governor's race, but he's still one of the most important Democrats in the country and also one of the most richest. Take a look at this. And I'm not going to let parents come into schools bill. and actually you take books out and make their own decision. You vetoed it. So, to yeah, I stopped the bill that I don't think parents should be telling schools what they should teach. Wow. One more time, Terry. You don't think parents should be telling schools. That's the way it works in America. What do these Democrats? This guy used to be a centrist. He used to be not crazy. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. The UFT enemies of the people. These teachers union, they are against children. I mean, look, there's hope on the way though. Hope on the horizon. So many states are pouring money into charter school programs. You've heard of charter schools. What are they exactly? Uh, well, they can vary, but basically a tuition-free school of choice that is publicly funded, but independently run. That is a beautiful thing. No teachers union. They, they're not interested in kids. They are interested in job protection and doing as little work as possible. They look like regular schools, but they are almost radically different and usually much smaller class sizes. Wouldn't it be great? Hey, what does the, what does the teachers union say about charter schools? They have no accountability, they have no equity, they have no transparency, and when you take a dollar out of a child's mouth, 
for food, for books, for things like that, to give to a competitive system that actually hasn't proven itself, that's a problem. A dollar out of a child's mouth, no food for the kids if you support charter schools. This is ludicrous. Liberals do it all the time. Overstating, hysterics, pandering. And she's wrong on the substance also. Stanford Center for Research on Education Output, Credo, they put out a new report. And they looked at schools over the past 15 years. Charter schools provide their students with stronger learning when compared to traditional public schools. Excellent. Next, most charter schools produce superior student gains despite enrolling a more challenging student population. Okay, I like this. The nationwide gains for charter students were six days in math, 16 days in reading. Now, that may not sound like that much, but in education circles, this is huge, and it can lead to very, very big things. Next, in New York, charter students were 75 days ahead in reading and 73 days in math compared with traditional public school peers. Next, please. Those differences can add up to an extra year of learning across an entire elementary education. Also, consider this. The latest study shows that black and Hispanic students had some of the largest gains and that they advanced more than their traditional public school peers by large margins in math and reading. Ditto for children in poverty. Again, game changing. This could save America and America's at risk. Let's face it. This could save the soul of America, which is definitely at risk. Joe Biden talks about that a lot. I wonder, though, what he really means. To redeem the soul of this nation. And finally, 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 restore the soul of the nation. Our actions every day to ensure that our democracy endures, our constitution endures, and the soul of our nation, our decency endures. Soul of our nation and decency. What about the indecent uh, situation at the White House this week? Where's the soul of the nation? I'm sorry, but this flagrant flaunting, uh, it's fine for Instagram, but not on the White House lawn, don't you think? Why don't we have spring break at the White House while we're at it? This is insanity. It's disgusting. It's wrong. Not at the White House. And not even at Dodger Stadium. Right now, Pride Night at Dodger Stadium. You know about this, right? Uh, the Sisters of Perpetual Mercy, a sacrilegious group, will go there and perform things that are highly, highly offensive to Catholics, Christians all over. Why? Why is it being done? Uh, because Joe, I think, wants to destroy the soul of the nation. I think he wants the three following things, actually. He wants people to be dependent. Joe and the Democrats, the left, they want us dependent on the government. They want our children dependent on the government. Number two, they obviously think they want children to be depraved. Okay. I mean, w w how do we get around that? It's depravity. And I think they would like dependable Democrat voters. And there's research that suggests the more challenged you are, the more broken you are, the more likely it is you'll vote Democrat. So that brings me back to my kids. I think it's worth the fight. Abso-freaking-lutely. Uh, and you too. And let's thank the patriots, those who have gone before me. These people. Yes, the FBI may have your name, number, your license plate, but you are absolute heroes. And please, let's all keep it up.